In this video, we will be replacing the radio in this 2008 Hyundai Elantra. For this repair, I purchased a trim removal tool kit from Amazon. I also purchased all of my radio and wiring harnesses, trim kits, all that from Crutchfield. If we take a look at the current setup, we have a trim piece that runs around the entire radio unit. This needs to be removed. And in the bottom corners, we have a couple tabs that need to be depressed using one of our trim tools so we can remove that trim piece. On the passenger side, we want to be careful because we have a soft dash material. We're going to insert that trim removal tool and pull out and upward to loosen that edge. And if we slide that tool down just a little bit, applying just a little bit of pressure and work that down, we can pop the driver's side out and then the rest of the face. We can then slowly work that away For the emergency flasher button, we have a wiring harness that we need to disconnect. There's a small tab that needs to be depressed and then we can wiggle that connection loose. Towards the top, we have two additional wiring harnesses. These control the passenger airbag indicator as well as the clock. We can then remove that trim piece. So what we are left with is our radio unit. It has four screw locations, although there are only actually three screws installed. And using a Phillips head screwdriver, we can remove those screws and gently pull out the radio. Taking a look at the back of our unit, we have three different connection points that need removed. We have our antenna connection point and we have two wiring harnesses. The antenna can be pulled out by wiggling and pulling. And both of our wiring harnesses have small tabs on top which need to be depressed as we wiggle and pull the connection point. We will be connecting our new wiring harness to our existing wiring harness. That new wiring harness can then be connected to our new unit, followed by our antenna. And then we can slide that assembly in place and install our hold down screws. And before I go any further, I want to go ahead and test the radio to make sure that everything appears to be functioning correctly. So everything seems to be working as it should at this point. So we will go ahead and install our trim piece. We will make sure we connect our three wiring harnesses first before attaching that trim piece. And we want to make sure everything gets seated properly. And at this point, everything is looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and remove the stickers and test out the CD player and any other functionality of the radio just to verify that it is working properly. But everything looks pretty good.